fall off. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? with the goddamn hair your league. So, we are about to get into addressing assumptions about me. This is Nick's video. You dig? I'm sure I have a lot to say with this. Y'all know I like to vicariously talk my ish through their videos. Let's get it. We can skip that intro. It's fine. Oh no, too much music. But it looked dope. Stay wild. That's dope. Come on, Neek, switching up the whole vibes and all that. Getting to the sh money. You did. I'm back with another video, you guys. And I decided to give y'all, like, you know, a little level up on the quality. Shout out to my boy DeMarcus. We shooting or whatever. So, yeah, you know, I wanted to just switch it up from, like, my basic, you know, at home my own little video so i gave y'all a little background a little tea it's giving right this background is definitely giving if you're new to this channel what's up you guys it's your girl neek and today we're going to be doing assumptions about me so i've been wanting to do this video for a while i haven't done one in so long but my last one did pretty good so i kind of wanted to just open up my premium super cute quality or whatever good. with a nice little girl sit down video so that's what we're gonna get into hold on let me put my questions up let me put my questions do y'all hear her so good or i need to cut up a little more like, or tell me some assumptions about me because a lot of times i'll be hearing a lot of rumors about me or People I need to do an assumptions assume video. A way that I'm not, or like, you know, I definitely a lot of people, need to do that. When you're a known person and you kind of in the spotlight, a lot of people assume a oh, lot I need of to shit do an updated one. So every other day, I'm hearing some different stuff about me, or like, you know, a characteristic that I didn't know I had, like just a whole bunch of stuff. So I came on here to like address them basically and read them, and you know, you know, you know, you know. Anyways, so the first one, we're going to get straight into the video. The first one is a quiet girl at first, but usually mistaken for me. I've never, like, had nobody tell me that I look mean. I don't think that I have a resting bitch face. Like, a lot of times I do be quiet and shy. Like, I think I heard that people say that, like, oh, she looks stuck up or... I don't know. Because, like, when people look at me, I smile, but I really don't talk. Because a lot of times people be like... You would think as soon as you meet me that I'm just like super bubbly from what y'all see on the internet, like making it. Everybody think I'm mean as hell. Like I didn't want to say nothing to you because you look like you mad. I'm talking about nothing's wrong. <laughs> you look like you mad as hell or like wow, lesbians look like that. Who was all lesbians? You know what I'm saying? I got shit on my mind. My business manager told me, uh, I can't even think verbatim of the word, though. It's neuro something. But basically, she said other people are neurotypical. I feel as though I have ADHD or ADD or something. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm definitely giving those, uh, those uh, characteristics. And it's not a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I... Some people just neurotypical. They don't, you, you, I be thinking a whole lot up here. You know what I'm saying? So when you get to getting in my area and get to asking me, I don't know what you're talking about, and I don't care either. You seem <laughs> like I'm loud or I'm like kind of But like that don't make me mean. I got something I on my mind. get comfortable or like have a few drinks to like be the life of the party. A lot of times people be like, oh, you know, I think I'm just shy in front of people that I don't know. Or I, don't, I just like to sit back and observe stuff before I just start talking. Or I like to know who the hell I'm talking to. Uh, I like to hear everything you saying. I could read right through cap. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I need to know who I'm talking to. Like, I just never want Or what lie you think. telling me today? I, I guess it's like me saying, I, I be quiet when you first meet me. Oh, or if you yeah. don't see me, I, I'm quiet, but I'll smile. I just don't want people like, oh, this bitch talking too much. Or, oh, she doing too much. Or, I, I don't know. Like, I, I really don't be having nothing to say to people that I don't really know. I really don't be having shit to say. 
<laughs> in so many words. So a lot of people might assume that I'm like super quiet or like I'm shy or I'm mean. I think it's especially I'm if you shy. ain't talking I, about I nothing. People... Y'all, I'm the type I like to sit around and talk about business. You know what I'm saying? So if you sitting around me and we ain't talking about nothing, nah, I ain't good. <laughs> I'm not good with talking about nothing. I can't do it. Yeah, I'm saying. Well, I think I'm shy, and I just kind of got to warm up to you before I start talking. But once I start talking, bitch, you can't get me to stop talking, okay? That. But I just really don't be having much to say to people that I don't really know or that I don't have any stuff in common with. Or I'm just shy. A lot of times I be thinking everybody. Like, my head is really, I'm my biggest, like, Crit hater, if Facts. that makes any sense. Like, I be, like, I be so stuck in my head, kind of worried about, like, what somebody like when i meet somebody i'm like okay what are these people thinking about me oh it's no so i don't care sick. sometimes i be stuck in my head like telling myself stuff um not really an assumption but would you consider yourself bisexual or just gay for fun um gay for fun for sure so i guess y'all assume that i'm i i do be talking a lot like lately i've been talking a lot of big shit about girls like oh yeah like ooh, da, da, da. i would consider myself i don't know y'all lately i've really been not lately, but like lately when I'm talking about it, I really been thinking, bitch, am I like bi or something? Like, Girl. but I think I've always liked girls and like boys, so maybe I am like bi. So I guess I don't know. Child. A lot of people assume that you're a sneaky friend. I don't know why I'm getting that title, y'all. Like, I really just be, I don't know. A lot of times, everybody be thinking like, oh, I feel like. I don't know. I really can't answer that question. Like, a lot of people, because I've been seeing people in the comments saying, like, oh, Nick be in so much shit. Like, I'm starting to think it's her. Like, she has to be the problem. I really be chilling. Like, I really be chilling. I oh, God. Especially with me being a problem. Oh, my God. I am one way today. I'm one way tomorrow. And I'm one way right now. And that way is the same way. Do you hear me? I don't change who I am. I'm temperamental with what I want to do, though. Right now, I may want to go skating. But, girl, I swear, in five minutes, I'm going to end up in Miami at the beach. You'll never know what I want to do. You'll never be able to expect shit from me of me wanting when I, when I say I want to do something. But when I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, right now, I may want to go outside. But in five minutes, baby, let's just order the food. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's just me. You know? I don't know. Sometimes you got to look back at yourself and be like, bitch, damn, am I really the problem? Because you really, stuff or is stuff just happening to you for a reason? Like, I really be having, <laughs> I'm all about, like, you know, self-reflecting. Like, I wouldn't mind saying, if I generally step back and say, you know, I'm down to look at my, like, huh. okay, thank you. Sometimes I sit back and be like, okay, I'm absolutely the problem. My energy is too strong for people. My opinions are too strong for people. Uh, how I treat you, I would like a little bit of that treatment back. You know what I'm saying? Um, you ain't got to buy me shit. Goddamn, bitch. It's my birthday. Let's celebrate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm the problem for sure. Put yourself in that person's Nobody shoes. Nobody can be me or do shoes. me. And step back and look at it like, bitch, are you the problem? Do you need to change stuff around? Like, I'm open to changing my ways. But honestly, I don't really be thinking, bitch, I don't think I'm the problem. I don't know. You though. are. And, and the people that I talk to, they don't think that I'm the problem. Like, they... So the people it's you're the problem with the people you're trying to associate with. I'm the problem with the people I try to associate with. But the people that's trying to associate with me, I'm not a problem. <laughs> so the people that I try to associate with, I always have an issue with that. Always. But the people who try to associate with me never have an issue. Shit is crazy that I confide in and I, I ask around be like okay I genuinely want to know like let me know you feel comfortable to let me know if I'm wrong like really just let me know if I'm wrong and you know I'll fix it but a lot that of times too. the people I be talking to be like bitch you not wrong like 
what are they talking about? You know what I mean? So, I don't know. When it comes to being sneaky, yeah, I'll forever be I don't the think problem. I do shit sneaky. I'll be straightforward with everything I do. I don't hide shit. Everybody trying to make it seem like I'll be so sneaky, child. Where, like, I feel like when you got it in your mindset that somebody is sneaky or you got it on your head or, you know, in your mind that a bitch is doing something sneaky to you, you gonna feel that shit. You gonna feed that to yourself. Like, mm -hmm. I ain't never did shit, nothing sneaky. Like, I've always been out in the open with all of my shit. But, you know, I don't know. Uh, some shit about me. I feel like she's sneaky with the right thing, for sure. Is that you can have any man you want. I don't know, but mm, I don't really have much to say there about that because I feel like I'm that bitch and I can have any man I want, period. No, but um, shit, I don't know. Like, any man that I didn't try to step down on, like my man that I got now, I wanted him and I got him. When I want something and that- Kid, you say she out with that shit, but when she get asked it, she denies it. That ain't out with it. Or- that's another thing. Because we in an era where we got to accept people for who they are. We probably been needing to do that. But I'm talking about accepting people and you going to decide whether you're going to deal with the shit or not. A lot of us, people been friends with people for 20 years just absolutely accepting it. Like, that's just him. That's just her. And you don't like that shit. <laughs> so, it's like, can she look like she'd like to do it, but don't admit she like to do it? As a friend, would that bother you? I have a question. That's anything, whether it's a man, a job, uh, anything. Like, I'll be really determined to get it. Like, I'll make it a point. Like, if I put my mind to something and I say, I want this, I'll make it a point to get it. I told myself, I want Dwayne, and I put my mind to it, and I got my man. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. When I put my mind to something, I do, I can't say that I usually get what I want. So... I don't know. Um, somebody said, I, uh, I guess the assumption about me is, I feel like you can fight. Give us the biggest fight story. Um, I don't know, y'all. A lot of times, I, I had a few fights growing up. I'm not going to lie. Like, And I didn't win some, and I didn't lost some. Like, I didn't have a couple fights. Like, I used to fight a, a bit in school. You know? She didn't talk about the time she fought Carmen win everybody you're not gonna lose everybody. i feel like she so did I'm carmen dirty and be like yeah bitch i can fight like oh da, 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 da. Like, carmen ain't no I fighter that. like i don't know mm -hmm. i don't know you win some you lose carmen some. probably said i don't even want to fight and um, she kept whooping that up. you don't click with other influencers i can i guess the assumption Thank about you. me is that i don't click with other influencers um i feel like in the the job that I have, everybody is just, I click with other influencers. I just try to stay my distance away from them because I feel like when you try to get known friends and people that's like, I don't, I hate when people, well, it's like that whole, everybody be like, you can't be friends with all these Instagram bitches or you can't be friends with all these uh, YouTube hoes, da da da, or whatever, the, whatever people be deeming me saying. I try to keep my distance away from like a lot of industry like influencer type of people now because i just feel like it just it don't come with shit like it never it never works out in the end so i guess i don't absolutely right on that i got a it's a youtuber i never did a collab with in my life and um several and we get along very well um the ones that i work with thank you I've worked with some YouTubers that we got along very well in the moment. And then after that, that was just it. It was just business. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of times it is just business though. And that's what I had to learn <clears throat> by collabing with all these people. It's just business, you know, and you, you genuinely, what I had to learn. Cause I lead, I lead everything with my heart y'all. And that is a gift and a motherfucking curse. It's been more of a curse to me, though, than a gift. So with that being said, you can't go into business leading with your heart. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to get your heart broken. So with me now, first of all, I'm not doing any. I'm not doing no more collabs. 
except one. I'm going to do one more collab uh, when I get my ass to Houston. But um, other than that, I'm done with the collabs. It's a weird old, it's a weird old thing if it just don't work out or if it, or a person's energy may be off. Somebody might not like how you do something. Don't say it. Um, and niggas just be hating on the low. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the situation with YouTubers in general. And then, oh my God, the amount of people that ask where these people at. People still asking where Clarence and Queen is, y'all. Like, are you serious? That is crazy to me. And people get a certain obsession with where is she? Where is her, where is he at? Where is she at? Didn't you do it? Where are they at? Where? Oh, I don't miss that at all. So uh, that's another reason why I'm over it. I'm I'm over collabs, oh, especially Christy, like, with people who got more uh, more of a following than me. Oh no, nah. like, you ain't about to where she at me today. Like known people, I don't know. See, y'all niggas be, you know, respectfully fan out over people. I don't fan out over people. You know what I'm saying? I ever okay. So I've I've hang with hang i've kicked it with bigger youtubers and and when i say bigger i'm talking millions so i mean people that just got millions you know what i'm saying i y'all know me i've been in in the presence of millions you know what i'm saying so um you know it's a it's a youtuber i can kick it with today never do a damn youtube video with and i like it way better and y'all will never know who the fuck that person is you know what i'm saying um so I just like it better to not do that. We ain't got to do all that. Let's kick it. Let's have lunch. Let's have dinner. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm cool on the collabs. And shit. Like, I click better with, like, my real life friends. It's not real. Because a lot of times, people people be having, like, the wrong intentions. So, now, I, I, I am okay. noticing that maybe I don't click with, like, people who do the same thing as me. Or maybe I'm, it's um, best that I, like, stay away from, like, people that I meet on the internet. So, yeah. Maybe. Somebody says, you're genuine and you search for the best in others. <laughs> but, oh, that's a cute assumption. Thank you. But a lot of people do tell me that I'm always, like, Ray. Like, everybody, all my friends, they be like, bitch, you really do try to see the best in people. Like, I don't if got somebody it. come to me with a story and they be like, okay, this is her side, this is her side, I'll go be like, I'll be like, well, I'm going to use Ray as an example. I'll be like, well, Ray, you got to look at it from this, then, and there. Like, da, da, da. Mm -hmm. She'll be like, Neek. Bitch, we not talking about that. Like, you always trying to see the best in people. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? So I think I do. I focus on the good of people. And I feel like that's a blessing and a curse at the same time. Hello. I always look for the good in people and, like, try to weigh out the bad. Like, I don't know. Like, I just kind of, like, I keep saying, like, a lot. I see the best in people. And they instantly, I ain't going to say instantly, but. They always see the worst in me, I guess. And me, Karen, has always got me into shit. What I realized is good guys just don't... Good guys finish last. Period. I don't want to be a good guy no more. I don't give a fuck anymore. Like, <laughs> fuck that shit. Good guys finish last, y'all. Like, 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 like. Anyway, I do look for the good in people a lot of times and I kind of overlook the bad in people and I just feel like that's sometimes where I fuck myself up at. Um, you're a bad friend. Clear that up because they playing with you. Um, my real friends that I've had for a long time will tell you that, I don't know, it's an assumption that I'm a bad friend if you think I'm a bad I give a motherfucker the shoes off my feet right now. Dig what I'm saying? Don't let me bring that shit up, though. That would be crazy. I get a motherfucker the shoes off my feet. And the motherfucker won't even give me a shoe string, y'all. <laughs> so I promise you, this year was the year of, you know, chill out on the heart. <laughs> chill out on the heart, uh, gang. You know, you got to give people what they give you. Uh, I'm an overgiver. I'm an overextender. Over all that. Nah, fuck that. I got to learn to treat people how they treat me. You know what I'm saying? And I always lead over with overcompensation of everything. Overcompensation of love. Overcompensation of advice. Overcompensation of everything. No, maybe I should come with nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> come with nothing. And then they can't expect that from me. And give me the little that they was going to give me anyway. Yeah, friends.
district. That's too damn bad. Yeah, like, genuinely down in my heart, I know that I do my best to be a good friend or a good oh, person wow. in general to everybody oh, wow. that I meet. And um, I'm not perfect. I don't Me like. I'm not gonna always make the best decisions, or I'm not gonna always do stuff exactly how people want me to do it, mm -hmm. or um, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna always like see certain people's point of views. Like I say, I try my best to see everybody's point of view, but I'm not always gonna like read your mind and act exactly how you want me to act. You know what I mean? I'm human at the end of the day. So if people say that I'm a bad friend, that's too damn bad. Like the people that's important to me, that's really important to me, and the people that I actually like generally care about our friendships and they care about mine just as much as I care about theirs then we got to understand it and you know what I mean like facts it just is what it is you can't be friends with everybody child facts when it works it works that's another thing I learned about friendship when it works it really fucking works that don't mean it's gonna be perfect but it works so you got to work with the people who want to work with you who can take what you give and you can take what they give uh, at least you're giving, you know what I'm saying? So you got to go with what works. To force something, it ain't worth it. And we know that, and we still do it. Uh, everybody not going to think you're a good person. Everybody not going to think that you're a good friend. Like, But as long as like majority of people that I care about in my life think that I'm an amazing person, that's really all that matters. Um, Assumption about this, me is that y'all, you don't like Dwayne's baby mama. Um, I really don't have a problem with her. What's that sign? What's that TikTok? Uh, what's the damn TikTok? Uh, I really ain't got no problem with the bitch. I'll just be a petty with you, be a petty with me. No. <laughs> okay. Anyways, no, I really don't have a problem with it. And now that TikTok wasn't really that tick. Okay, just scratch that. Cause when I said it in my head, when I said it in my head, when I when I asked myself that question just now, I thought about that TikTok. But. She hasn't been being petty with me. I ain't been being petty with her. I, we, we fine. But I don't have no problem with nobody. Like as long as nobody disrespect me or try to, you know, I don't have a problem with nobody. Oh I don't dislike nobody at all. Um, another one. This is the second one. I guess this kind of goes into it. You don't like Lena. You just tolerate her. Ooh, um, that's not true. I don't even know her to really like her or dislike her, but I think that we have a we have a good relationship for the kids. Like I I I, I feel fine with it. Like I, I got no bad blood towards anybody, and I answer that a lot. And this is just one of the questions, so I'm just going through it. That's why the answer is very brief, cause it's nothing. You don't respect anybody's relationships or boundaries. I don't. <laughs> I hate that I have this name, like. Bitch, y'all really out here, fuck it, I don't know. I really just be myself. Like, I, I feel like sometimes when people misconstrue, like. I feel as though. If she think the co-parenting is good with Lena, she need to stop bringing up her man. <laughs> what I do, or like shit, I don't feel like shit is weird until people be making it weird. That's weird. You calling me, you ain't calling me your friend, but you saying we good, we got good co-parenting. Okay. Why the fuck you keep fucking with my home then? You know what I'm saying? Why every time you turn around, you got to bring up King when you got a whole man. You know what I'm That's the only assumption I have for Neek. Like, quit bringing that shit up, bro. Yeah. I, I respect all of my friends' relationships. Like, I, I'm... I be cool, cordial, I never do too much, never be too loud, never do too much, never in nobody's face. So, unless we're actually friends, like, I feel like I respect people's relationship because I would want them to respect mine. But you're ready to get married. You're ready for the married life. Um, I definitely think that I'm ready for the married life, child. I would What you mean he don't respect it though? What has he down done to this not year, respect I, it? Last year, I was out at the clubs having a good time, da 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 da, like, you know, outside. I wanna be inside. I want to be with my kid. I want to be with my husband. I want to be pregnant, doing the whole mamiana thing. I want to be cooking. I don't know about cleaning, child. I want to be cooking and taking care of home. I want to be. It's old and part of her life.
it seems that she likes to tell the bad parts of it. So, you know the nigga on the internet with you. <clears throat> what I'm trying to say to y'all is, don't say we got good co-parenting and you throw shade. <laughs> we got good co-parenting, but you love to throw the rock and hide the hand in that situation. Don't go on the internet talking big boy shit about the nigga then meet me on Tuesday getting a baby. And you expect me to be like, hey, that's the shit that I don't like about these little fake ass weird interactions with people. We ain't even going to call them friendships no more. I won't even use the word friendships no more. Just fake ass little weird situations. That's when I say I'm an over extender. I'm an over talker. Because if I was Lane, I would have said, can you stop bringing him up? <laughs> like, I know y'all got a pass. I get it. Certain things you all going to talk about. Absolutely. But the worst part, like, come on, Nick. Your videos is getting your views, baby. You got your fashion over. Your life is lit. That's still the father of your son. And every time you bring him up, it tear him down. <laughs> so we can't be that good at co-parenting. We can't be that cool. What they saying is really true. Because why you being weird to me? You know what I'm saying? Like, if we supposed to be all right, why you being weird to me? You know? So, nah, ain't gonna, ain't no, ain't no good co-parenting. She, that little baby, that baby would be running to me and she would be driving the fuck off. We ain't got nothing to talk about because you can't respect. That's a boundary. Now, does she owe Lena anything? No. But obviously she got a co-parent with her because no, normally it's the woman who take care of these children, y'all. That's why she even talking about her. That's these women take care of these children. So she taking care of her son while she gone. So it's like, stop being weird to me. Inside. I think it's weird. So who knows? Um, that you're loud. I'm loud on camera. Like that's what y'all see. A lot of times I'm super loud with my friends, but in person, if you meet me, like I'm super quiet. Like I'll be shy. Like I'm really quiet i don't know why i feel like i got a little bit of social anxiety or something because we all be do. like super quiet that's social anxiety around real. people that i don't know i like super quiet around new people or i know kid. i really do get like nervous and tongue-tied and, like, but i wasn't talking specifically to like you uh, so about what i was saying i'm really not loud unless i'm around people that uh you know that are like I was my saying friends and family that you only hang out with celebrity friends. That's not true. My Some of my best, 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 best friends are not celebrities. And we've been friends since uh, child, middle school, high school. So that's not true. Somebody said that you're an alcoholic. Oh! I'm just playing, bitch. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Come on, baby. Don't play with it. I'm not no damn alcoholic. I just like to drink a little bit. <laughs> no, y'all, I like to go out and have fun. And like I said, we all I'm really, are, really, 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 really shy. So when it comes to like opening up, especially like going out and like doing shit, I feel like I really am. I really have to drink to like loosen up. And that's why I like, I can't go to the club and have fun without drinking. So if that's like a, and I don't drink by myself. Like I only socially drink. Like when I'm doing a video, I'm drinking, or when I'm with friends and we chilling at home and we like, oh, let's drink, let's have a girls' night. Then I'll drink, but I don't drink by myself. Like I don't sit at home and drink, and I feel like that's what alcohol is. That they she ain't sit at home and they drink every single drink. day. But like I said, I really have to. Hell, I sit at home and drink, but I'm not pissy drunk. Sometimes I, I think that's an alcoholic. I really do have to drink to open up because I be so in my head about everything, and so kind of like shy and like in my head if i was shit. slurring my words every day y'all that's a problem so i really do sometimes be having a drink to like loosen up so i think kind of drinking is like my i'm gonna tell you way to get out respectfully lindasia so her man he got clubs and shit like i thought he did he has clubs that's why she out all the time when she go out it may not be all the time, but when she get on that live, she be drunk, slurring words. That be about four times out of the week. <laughs> now, granted, 
Lindasia's fucking 24, 25 years old. Just like Neek, I believe. Girl, I was drunk as hell too at 24, 25. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't think we need to put too much on that. You know, I don't, I don't. as long as she ain't sloppy drunk, wrecking cars, you know, it's a lot you could do when you a damn alcoholic. But I think that that's being sloppy drunk, slurring your words, walking crazy. Out, but I mean, not though she slurred her words when she was so I'm still trying to have a good time. I just no like comment, Kia. Fucking crazy child. And. Liquor is a Appreciate the sub, be mine. Anyways, you get jealous about a lot about certain things. It depends. I really do. I really am territorial with my friends and my man, so I do get jealous about certain things. Like, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm very sensitive. So when it comes to like my friends doing shit with their other friends or my friends doing something and not inviting me, I do be jealous. Or when child, let me think like that. Or I get jealous all the time. Gonna... When it comes to friends, how can I put this? When it comes to friends doing things, I, I can't just say with another friend, though, because that's not it. If we all friends and you... And the other friend end up doing something without me. For me, I'm in question like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? What was the conversation? Is it an issue? Because why the fuck y'all ain't invite me? I am absolutely that person and call me petty. But I'm inviting both of y'all. I'm not understanding why I missed the motherfucking invite. You get what I'm saying? I don't like that. So, all right. Three of us cool. You know, we kick it or kicked it before. Now y'all two kicking it without me. That leaves me in question. What was the conversation? I could be wrong. Might not have been a conversation. But to me, why the fuck y'all being weird to me? You get what I'm saying? Why y'all being weird to me? Because me, I would have invited both of y'all. Baby, we about to do a Super Bowl party. Let me invite such and such, such and such, such and such. Right? And that's if we met the friend together. Because see, the thing is, y'all, you can have friends separate. I don't invite all friends in the same area at the same time. That's not how that works. But if we became friends at the same time, then I'm in question, you know. But I'm going to tell y'all. I've learned in friendships, I take them too serious. You know, that's why I said I'm the problem. Mm -hmm. I take them too serious. So, I, I'm learning now. The amount of love that I give, I can't, I can't. It hurts me. You get what I'm saying? When I'm not getting the amount of love that I'm giving, it hurts. I don't want no friends no more. Not many understand me. You get what I'm saying? Jay-Z said it. Certain people, we can't do it. So I, now, oh my God, I'm there. Oh, I'm there. Oh, no, 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 no. Because I done took this too serious. Because you ain't, don't let you not take it serious. Oh, bitch. Hurt, <laughs> right, I'm. You don't care? Nah. Uh, I First it's emotional. No, first I'm emotional. Then I'm mad. Then I'm over it. You know what I'm saying? So now for me, it's, it's literally like, I'm going to keep my love to myself. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody love me like TT. <laughs> you know? Like, we have the, I, I'm so glad God introduced me to a Leo because we get it. We get it from each other. You get what I'm saying? It's certain things that she wants from me and it's certain things I want from her. Are we perfect? Hell no. But in that area, we are. <laughs> like, baby, if you tell me you're going to come now, pull up. If you tell me gonna, if you're going to um, do something now, do that shit. Now, you know damn well. 
Okay? Because you expect the same from me. You know? So, I, I take this shit too serious. I take friendships way too serious. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't have that same energy that I got, you know? And what I know, everybody can't have the same energy as you. Now, you can find somebody on your level. I actually have plenty of friends on my level, you know, that y'all don't even know I have. But it's definitely welcome to death row when you fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? And if I don't, if it just don't work out now, I'm okay. It just ain't work out. We ain't got to do all that shit. I'm, be blessed. Love you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to love you from a distance because I take shit too serious. Heart too big. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah. So uh, anybody out there, if you got a heart like mine, I, plenty of Leos. All y'all Leos understand what I'm saying. Because <laughs> y'all like, yeah, bitch, yeah. Listen, give all that love to you and give that love to who really, really giving it to you. You get what I'm saying? Give that love to who's giving it to you. And to the people that's not giving it to you, y'all, you ain't got to give them shit. You get what I'm saying? They already ain't giving you shit, you know? So it's just, it's more so like, listen, love you from a distance. You know what I'm saying? Because I take this shit too serious. So I'm a bow out. I am a bow out bitch. I will bow out of some shit expeditiously, okay? Because I love you. You know, and I ain't no need for all these problems, man. I don't want to be the issue, <laughs> you know, because normally I'm the problem. It's like you are a bitch. OK, you are the problem. But I wasn't the problem when I was this person, when I was the person who was there for you at your fucking every ounce of anything you needed. Notice I didn't say anything of monetary value, anything you needed. I am that bitch. I will pull up, I will fly out, I will hop out, I will do whatever when I love you. You know what I'm saying? But when you show me, like, I love you too, nigga, but like this, back up. I backs up for real. Do you get what I'm saying? So, y'all, if you got a heart like mine, back up. I'm going to tell you right now, back up for the sake of you. You get what I'm saying? Back up for the sake of your motherfucking uh, sanity because... I get it, but everybody don't get it. You get what I'm saying? Everybody don't get it. And they ain't supposed to. And guess what? They don't have to. You know what I'm saying? People don't have to do shit that you want them to do, y'all. So instead of feeling so entitled, because I have that. I, I Sometimes I, I, I can feel entitled, you know? Um, you can't be entitled. People going to do them, and pe people need to let people do them. You know, that's when you reveal everything. Everything reveals itself when you let people do them. When you try to stop them from doing them, that's when you become the problem. You get what I'm saying? I'm the issue only when I try and stop somebody from treating me the way I don't want to be treated. That's when I become the problem. Because you're not going to play with me. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm too good of a motherfucker for you to play with me. So, let people be. And when you realize who they are, believe them. You know what I'm saying? And let them do them. That's some shit that I've learned. And oh, it, it's 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 rejoicing. I feel great knowing that. Because I need to love me more anyway. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I do. Especially with my man. Because don't talk to my man. Don't look at my man. Don't bring this Feeling anything. entitled because man, you don't ride hard. That you actually no, grow because they don't your ride hard for you. And you're very supportive of your family and friends. I like to think that I grow from all of my mistakes. Usually, when I go through stuff, I like to look at it as a lesson and not so much of like, I never right, ask God. Like, when I go through stuff or when I'm having harsh situations with something, I never ask God, like, God, why are you doing this to me? Like, why am I going through this? Why am I one? Like, I never do that. I kind of look at it like, okay, God, like, are you trying to tell me something? Or is this a sign that you're trying to give me? Or, oh, you know, maybe he's trying to tell, like, I always look at it as God trying to tell me something or it's a lesson. You know, every failure, I posted a quote, I don't remember exactly how the quote went, but it was like, every something was a lesson. I forgot the quote. 
I don't remember what it was, but it was kind of basically saying, you know, every mistake I make, it, everything that I go through is just trial and error to make me the person that I am today yep. and make me a better woman. So yep. I do learn from my mistakes. I kind of just note it down. Like every time yep. I do something and I don't see right now that, like if I'm in a situation and I don't see like, like, oh, Nick, you're wrong. I'm going to tell y'all what helped me. I started seeing where the hell I was wrong at, Right. That started about four years ago. Yeah. Of me seeing just where I'm absolutely wrong at. Right. So I have this big thing with, um, I have this big thing with, uh, knowing how, how can I put it? Accepting accountability for my actions. I'm real big on that. Now I just call them hoes out first. Like, uh, like Eminem did in eight mile. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm entitled. Yes, I like reciprocity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I realized the things that I was doing wrong. But I'm the one to tell you what I did wrong. And then I'm going to tell you what the fuck you did wrong. Nobody ever likes when I tell them what they did wrong. <laughs> no. Every friendship I've had, nobody. Nobody likes it. And granted, we all get defensive when you telling us something about ourselves. I ain't saying I ain't included in that. Everybody get defensive when you get told something about yourself, but it's how it's being said. It ain't even what you say, it's how you say it. Because you know how you is. I hate when people play dumb like they don't know who they are. Like you don't know what you did, nigga. Like you don't know how you just did that, nigga. I hate that shit. You know. Because I can see right through it. You know what I'm saying? But like... When I realized and started taking accountability, like, bitch, you know what? It, you are the problem. <laughs> like, I, I might get a shirt that say you are the problem. Because I am. I can't, I can't expect reciprocity. But I can fuck with the people who give me something as, as far as reciprocity goes. It may not be to the extent of what I do. But hell, at least we giving each other something. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you something. You giving me something. I'm pouring into you. You pouring into me. Some of us might have bigger cups for the moment. Goddamn. You know what I'm saying? But listen, I know what I did wrong. You know what I'm saying? I love too much. Love too hard. And good guys finish last. That's why I'm always in these dumb ass situations. You know what I'm saying? I look at it like, basically like, you know, it's a, I try to learn from every situation that I put myself in and just be like, okay, well, Nick, you remember that time you was wrong? Or remember this time that you didn't think you was wrong and you did this to somebody or you did that or you said something? Remember that? Like, okay, well, you know, try not to do that again because obviously it makes people feel some type of way. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I do Appreciate learn from the my, my mistakes and whatever the case may be. I tell people I never say that shit again. If that made you feel some type of way, I never say it again. Even if I say it again, I, I'm telling you again, I won't say it again. I apologize. I'm fucking human. But I make sure I acknowledge that I don't, I don't want to say it again because I don't mean to offend you. You know. Somebody said that I'm not friendly. When you meet me, I am very friendly. I might not have shit to say, but I'm always smile. Like I try not to be a shitty person to nobody because. You just never know. Like, you just never freaking know. I say um, what I mean, too. But it's a way in saying what you mean. Especially when us as Leos, when we want to fucking be cool with somebody, you can't always just be cutthroat. Because everybody can't handle that shit. Now, granted, you can't just... See, that's the other side of... Let me just get friends that can handle my, my mouth. You handle my mouth, I handle your mouth, girl. We shouldn't have no motherfucking problems. You know what I'm saying? Well, bitch, you fucking, uh, you always doing that a lot and that a lot when you got to do that a lot. Yeah. And, but bitch, you, you know what I'm saying? Do da la la da la la. Okay. We, since we both address that we both do da la la, what we going to do to fix this? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, we all got problems in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm clinky. I am. I'm very clinky with friends, with family, with my man. Clingy, clingy, Me and Nico clingy. are one of the same. Clingy, 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 clingy. <laughs> um, but you got to have people. You got to have people that have that same energy, y'all. You got to have friends that's accepting of the clingy or they want to be clingy too. Because when they not, 
Then they go hear your mouth all the damn time. You know, I learned. I've learned so much shit. I'm so happy I watched this video. Your supporters and fan pages like shit. Oh. That's a first. That is the first that I've ever freaking heard that. Because one thing about me, when I meet anybody, it don't matter if I'm having a shitty day, the worst day ever. Like, I could be going through hell and back. If somebody comes to me and asks me to take a picture, I never say no. And you can ask anybody about that. I'm never saying no. I could be eating. I could be taking <clears throat> shit, like, and they look under the star and be like, hey, when you finish, can I take a picture? I'm going to take a picture because I feel like y'all made me who I am today. Like, I would never try to shit on nobody. Uh, like nobody who support me or nobody who watch me because at the end of the day I wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't for y'all supporting me So I try to show love to everybody I meet if you support me you got to support a page of me That's when I'm the most thankful because you actually take time out of your day to like repost my content and repost my pictures and support me and make flippograms of me like I try to comment on everybody who like make banners of me and flippograms and vines. I mean, I was gonna say vines. <laughs> and like TikToks of me. I just try to share my love in a lot of places. It's unfortunate that I can't get to every comment or it's unfortunate that I can't get to like every time somebody say something to me or send me a sweet message. Like I would love to reply to every person who send me something. It's just so many people that sometimes I can't get to everybody and sometimes people might think like, Yeah, oh. Jamie, that's my, I, be, be vocal with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, this ain't the month. I don't want to deal with you this month. <laughs> I'll be like, bitch, see you next month then. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to tell you, uh-uh, not this month. Nope. I will be quick to send out a text and be like, listen, this month ain't the month. I got to buckle down. I got shit to do. I ain't drinking. I don't want to come over. I don't want to work out. I am strictly going to be on my computer in my house. I have to tell people that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I don't... <clears throat> I don't want you to get offended if you asking me to do some shit and I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't being funny. People, people think I'm being funny when I say no. People think I'm being funny when I say I'm busy. You want to know why? Because every time somebody asks me to do something, my first answer is, yo, I figure out how to do it. I got you. First. That's my first answer. Oh, but bitch, let me say no. Or I can't. Or I'm busy. Oh, God. I'm hell. I just done shot everybody in the foot. <sighs> I've been dealing with this shit all my life, seem like. She's not acknowledging me, and I love her. But if you meet me in person, I swear that it'll be a 10 out of 10 experience. And, yeah. I believe it. Somebody said like uh, that I'm a energy. freak. Oh. I don't know, child. I don't know. Definitely. Somebody right. said that you're too friendly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I am, bitch. I think I'm too friendly and me too, too nice me and too. too easy on these hoes. And me that's too. why they feel like they can play with me. Mm -hmm. But shit finna change. Fact. Um, I am Nika Nika's me. You don't, oh, this is another way. You don't stand up for yourself when all these bummy bitches are talking about you. With me, I have a problem with communication. I don't talk a lot. I'll keep you myself. You know, that's something I want. I want to work on. What's your sign, friend? That was so... Y'all go so far. I don't feel like... And we're not calling nobody bummy bitches. They, that's just what my supporters, and they felt very straightforward about Sagittarius are what they said. Right. But I don't think none of them... Besides that, I'm going to reword that. You don't stand up for yourself when bitches are talking about you. I feel like everything don't need an answer. Like, every don't, everything... Sagittarius... As a... Sagittarius is Sagittarius is Sagittarius and Virgos like the state of themselves if they got some shit going on. And that's cool. The problem is y'all don't say I got some shit going on. <laughs> this today ain't the day. You get what I'm saying? I am a today ain't the day, bitch. I can't even give you the energy you want, friend. I ain't gonna count cause I ain't having a good one. I I can't I can't give you nothing. You know what I'm saying? But if you you got some shit going on in your head, I can't fix it for you. So be like, bitch, not today. Simple. What the hell I'm about to be like? Oh, what the fuck you mean not today? No, bitch. At least communicate it. We supposed to do something? You ain't feeling it? Say I ain't feeling it. I'm out. Talk to you later, nigga. 
I respect that shit. Sorry, I was chicken. It's in my throat. But the fact that you can't say nothing, I've dealt with that with Sagittarius and Virgos. They will shut the fuck down. You hear me? I, I, Sagittarius the worst. Sagittarius are the worst. I'm talking about y'all be over there about to jump off a motherfucking ledge and your phone be at the house. Things don't need to be Terrible. entertained. Especially like like not in the public eye. A lot of stuff that I done dressed with bitches off me? camera. I'm going through some shit. I need you to pull up. Because I need to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? I want to let out my shit. I want to let out my shit. You know what I'm saying? Let me holler at you. Let's go have a drink. We ain't even got to go have a drink, nigga. Let's go to the park. Just get me the fuck away from here where I don't want to be, where that, wherever that is, you know, and let's talk about that shit. You know what I'm saying? But everybody's not the same, y'all. We are just not the same. I think we're meant to not be the same, and that's our problem. Like, I never what had to do the internet shit. Like, I never had to go online to, to like, address some shit to like, you know, I, I don't, I feel like a lot of stuff, most of the times, a lot of stuff is better just not entertain. Because if you entertain it, of course they're going to go for the big fish. Of course they're going to want to like say shit about me and get me to respond. That's just going to only make, like put more attention on them. And why give any bitches any attention or any, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I try to like keep it a minimum of me responding to a lot of stuff. Because a lot of stuff ain't worth my response. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, uh, you're shady and not open to new connections. I'm not shady. I might throw a little shade here and there, but I think bitch everybody do. And uh, absolutely, I'm not open to new. Well, I don't know. I'm a process. I have to get my thoughts together before I so speak right on now, what I'm, I'm not feeling. Really so is TT. So that's something we got to deal with in our relationship. Cause sometimes I gotta chill the fuck out and let her think. She be like, girl, <laughs> especially in the beginning of the relationship. Like, you won't let me get my thoughts together to even respond to your motherfucking ass. I understand that now. So now, I ask the question. I got to be like, baby, what do you think about the price of tea in China? <clears throat> oh, you ready? Okay. <laughs> Well, you know, because she got time to process that. Now, I'm still working on that when we get in our little debacling arguments or whatever, but <clears throat> I got to wait. You know what I'm saying? Till she think about what she's saying. When you ask me, I might be like, shit. Well, I believe, you know what I'm saying, that it's a, you know, it's just a difference. You know what I'm saying? Open up for, open for new connections. I'm learning, though. You know though, what I mean, girl? It's messy. I don't know. I ain't never been called messy. And I ain't, I'm not mean at all. Everybody always say, you too nice, you too nice. I'm far from fucking mean. I wish I was mean. So I, I wish like, I was mean too. I really do well, wish I was mean. I become mean. I I can, I could be so mean. But I become mean when I feel like um, I'm being played with. Oh, that's an evil bitch, you know. And silently, I, I, <laughs> well, nah, 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 nah. Uh, I feel like my 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 feelings was already hurt. You ain't give a damn my mind, so I'm just not a good person when my feelings is hurt. You're I'm goofy. really a sensitive ass bear. You know what I'm saying for real? Yeah, I am pretty goofy, and you're clumsy. I'm clumsy and I'm goofy. I laugh a lot and I be tripping over shit. Uh, let me see. Somebody assumed that I'm pregnant, y'all. I'm not pregnant. I'm just getting a little big. That's just a little happy. Okay, Mimi is pregnant. a mess. Nigga, I think Leo's insensitive and, pa and impatient sometimes. We get insensitive. See, y'all don't hear us when we are being sensitive. That's the problem. And I hate being called sensitive. Like, I'm trying to show you my love, and it's like, oh. Oh, that's cute that you care about me like that. I can't give you that type of caring though. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> that I can't, I can't care for you like that. 
Then I'll be like, damn. Well, maybe I'm caring too much, you know? So then I back up. Like, bet. I ain't going to shit. I'm doing too much. So I'm going to go ahead and bow out on this one. Sit this one out. You get what I'm saying? And then it's like, fuck wrong with you. You, you just said that I was sensitive and I care a little too much for you. And you ain't going to do the same. That ain't you. And then it's like, but I wasn't saying that for you to. Stop fucking with me. I ain't stopped fucking with you. I just stopped doing what I was doing. I'm, I'm, I'm now giving you what you're giving me. I am now giving you what you giving me. And nobody ever likes when I give them what they give me. Nobody ever likes that shit. I'm always wrong when I give what they give me. How am I wrong for that? How? I done pulled a you on you. Now I'm wrong. (laughs) When I was caring, I was doing too much, too much caring. Then when I stopped caring, now you stop caring. Y'all, I don't have a gray area. I've never had a gray area in my life. Do you hear me? I am either on 10 or I am on zero. I don't even know what it's like to be on three. No, no idea. No idea. So you either going to get all of me or you ain't getting none. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I can't even give you a two shot. I don't even know what that's like. Because, bitch, when I'm ready to love, I'm loving full fledged. I am in that motherfucker. You hear me? I love you, nigga. Love me back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know how to give you love at a seven. I don't know how to give you love at a four. I don't even know what you what we talking about right now. Not even a two. Oh, I am at a zero, bitch. All right, cause I see now I know how to deal with it. You done told me everything I needed to hear. So shit, I deal with myself. I ain't hurt nobody feeling. I ain't getting on nobody nerve. I ain't pissing nobody off. I ain't being negative to nobody. <laughs> I'm chilling. I'm alone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Aaliyah get it. Aaliyah's a Leo. Aaliyah is exactly, I like, I'm probably saying what she would say. You know what I'm saying? Sha too. I, I just, you know, that's just me. Y'all probably would But I can be impatient. Definitely you know? like third. I'm working on that too. I got you. I'm working on You had a little crush on Ray. I don't know why people always assume that me and Ray like each other. Well, I do know why, because at the first beginning, like when we used to do videos, we used to do kind of like really flirtatious videos. And I feel like Ray's a naturally flirty person and I'm a natural flirty person. And we like joke like that. Like, I feel like to us, it's like a big joke. Like, you know how you have that friend like that you flirt with, but you like, bitch, I'm just playing with you. Like, I feel like it's funny to us because we really like not crushing on each other or nothing like that. It's kind of just like a joke to us. But I gotta learn that I gotta stop doing that shit because y'all starting to go too far. So, well, we both gotta stop doing that, but no, we do not have crushes on each other. I don't have a crush on Ray, she don't have a crush on me. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna say a few more. Somebody said they had assumption that I'm rich. I Cause am- once you act like I'm annoying you, I'm off. Oh my God, Shondon. No, once you act like, 333 in the chat. Once you act like, that's cute that you love me like that. It's been so many times, because not just, that hasn't just happened to me once, twice, three. It's like, well, damn, that's cute. (laughs) That you care about me like that. (laughs) But uh, unfortunately, sister soldier... (laughs) I can't do that for you. But I like that type of truth. Shit. Let me back up. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I'm doing too much. I'm the problem. I'm cool with that. I'm not rich, baby. I am rich. I am working. I am comfortable. Not even comfortable. I'm uncomfortable. I'm working to be wealthy. You know what I mean? Somebody said you a hoe. 
Who check this out, friend? She absolutely is not a hoe. I ain't gonna lie. She, out of all people, she ain't a hoe. I become problematic. I'm problematic? Okay, well, I don't know. You see what I'm saying? I used to be the unproblematic queen. I don't know. I keep saying, I don't know. I don't know. That's really be my honest answer. Y'all tell me if I'm problematic. I don't be feeling problematic, but maybe I am problematic. I become problematic for Somebody sure. Said, Assuming that you went through a lot of things that made you stronger as a person. Yeah. I did go to last, I did go through a lot of stuff. Stronger. Yeah. Um, somebody said you messy in real life. I don't think I'm messy at all. Like I don't be doing I don't gossip except for when it's about with Kobe. Cause you know we be we be saying our little one too. But uh I don't really I don't know. I'm not like a he say she say type of person. If I have a problem with somebody, I'm gonna go straight to the source. And I don't think that's messy. I think that's being around the shit and going straight to the source and talking to that person about That's it. a fact. I feel like messy is when you be like, you have a problem with somebody or you share some shit. Anything. Like every, anytime anybody come to me and say something. Anything I say on this video, I can say it to whoever or I'll have our, me, I already said it. Definitely already said anything that I say. <laughs> it already been said. I, They're like, oh, I feel this way towards her. Bitch, you tell her. Why are you telling me? Okay, I so think I'm you should you. call her and talk to her about it, honestly. I'm a, if you if, want to sit on the phone and talk about somebody to me, I'm say, girl, I really think y'all should just talk it out. And if I have something to say about somebody, I'm not going to tell the other person. I'm not going to tell this person or that person. I'm going to go straight to the source. I'm, I'm going to go straight you, baby. to the person I got a problem with. And I'm going to tell them. I'm all about talking shit out. And, and being an adult about shit. I'm not, I'm not good on consistently talking about the same thing. I'm the type, if I already told you once, I, I don't necessarily think I need to tell you again. <laughs> I hate continuously having that thing. I will if I care about you. I will, because obviously either you don't get it or you didn't take me serious the first time. So let me say it again. Oh, but when I'm done talking, I'd rather talk. I don't, I don't care. Situation, so say whatever you please. I'll be open and talk. And we can talk it out. So I don't, I don't, they don't get it. Um... Somebody said you're the reason Ray and her ex broke up. Girl, no. That don't got shit to do with me. But of course, I'm the biggest name. I'm the big fish, of course. You know, they gonna say it's on me, but whatever. This is my second to last one. Somebody said you wish you could live your life private and social media free and just have money on other streams of income. Um, yeah. If I I I do like being like, sometimes I just wish I do can like, you know, live a nice, private, good, wealthy life with my little family and not have everybody judging me every five seconds about shit that I do, but I, I do love my job. And somebody yeah. said that you got your body done or you got your booty done. I've never in my entire life touched this ass. It's just homegrown and bitches hate that. I'm just like, what? <laughs> No, 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 that's no shame. But I'm just saying, my ass is very much natural. I've never touched my ass a day in my life. I always answer that on all of my questions. And I do be seeing a lot of my supporters be like, I post a picture and I'm looking thick and everybody be like, oh, it's bought though, it's bought though. But no shade towards bitches who bought their ass, bitch. I love a good, I love the girl. I love the shop girls. I love the BBL girls. I love it all because I feel like your body is your body. And I guarantee you 100%, 100%, if I wasn't grown with this ass, best believe I'm laying on that table. 10 out of 10. That's not supporting, you know. And I'll be like, oh, don't support us. I ain't gonna lie. These titties might have to go. At first, I didn't give a damn. Oh, but now I'm over these titties, y'all. I'm, I'm over it. I'm gonna have to be easy to the situation because I'm over. If I wasn't grown with this ass and I wanted an ass, I would go put some ass in my ass and I would have been very much honest about it. And what y'all gonna say about it? It's my ass. I'm putting shots in it or I'm getting the BBL. I'm doing what I wanna do with my ass. So, but to answer y'all question, no, I've never touched my ass a day in my life. Yeah, it's I might have to go on and ass. take these on up out of here. My they ass, on my nerves. I ain't got no hip dip. <laughs> and I'm thinking about, you know. Like, I'm not even big, y'all, and I be feeling like I'm big because of all these titties. I truly feel like a, 
I feel like a piece of bubble gum out of the machine. <laughs> The shit that I say about myself is crazy. <laughs> but um, I feel like <clears throat> you could give me 25 cents and I'll roll. You get what I'm saying? I don't like that. All right here, just just a fucking gumball. And I don't necessarily. Like, I'm not insecure about it. They there. You know what I'm saying? You can't hide these titties, you know? And I ain't about to be ashamed of these titties. But they just in my way now. You know what I'm saying? I could walk around proud with these titties sitting very high. But then after a while, I'm ready for them to go low because they too heavy. You get what I'm saying? I'm sick of it, quite frankly. So it's, it's like. But, and if I do, I'll get the anyway, fuck up out of here. I feel like, you know, it's a little white stuff. I'm the lip. green one, Blaze. When you've been talking too much and you got your lip gloss on. Anyways, I'm the that green concludes one. this video. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I hope you guys now like, made this comment, video and subscribe. Out. If you guys want to ask me any more questions, comment down below. If you guys want to see a part two in this video, let me know. We out. I need to make this video myself. So I guess people from Instagram are telling her, her their assumptions about her. It'll be good. I know people got a lot to say about me. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.